Good morning, Blessed Trinity, and happy Monday. We hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Today is Monday, April 20th, and we are so glad that you are back with us and ready for another great week. At this time, wherever you are, please stand for prayers and pledge. Let us call to mind all of our personal prayers and intentions. Please keep the following members of our BT family and community in your thoughts and prayers. For staff members and their family members struggling with illnesses and health concerns. For all of our healthcare workers, first responders, and essential workers, and the jobs that they are doing to keep our com com community safe and running. For all of our leaders, doctors, and scientists who are working to find a way to stop the spread of COVID-19. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In accordance with burial tradition, women went to Jesus' burial place to put spices on the body. What they found greatly surprised them. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come see the place where he lay. He has been raised from the dead and is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Loving God, you created all of the people of the world, and you know each of us by name. We thank you today. For Ariana G in eighth grade, Liam S in third grade, and Tenley S in third grade, who celebrate their birthdays today. Bless them with your love and friendship that they may grow in wisdom, knowledge, and grace. May they love their family always and be ever faithful to their friends. Grant this through Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please face the flag. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Well, Blessed Trudy, that's all of the announcements we have today. We hope you have another great week with our distance learning, and we are excited. We'll be sharing tomorrow our new challenge for this week for BT Fun Friday. That's all we have. We do have a joke. The joke today comes from Emma in fifth grade, and the joke is, what helps keep the ocean clean? A mermaid. Is that it? Like a mermaid. Like a maid can help you clean. So thank you, Emma, and your mom for sharing the joke with me. We're so excited to keep hearing all of the jokes that you have. Keep sending them in. That's all we have today. Remember, pray as if everything depended on God and work as if everything depended on you.